My name is Jack James Park. I'm 18 years of age and um, I live in Manurewa and I go to Manurewa High School. I'm thinking of pursuing civil engineering um, because I like to be hands-on. I'm that type of person. To find out what's required to undertake an apprenticeship in civil engineering, Jack will spend time at Works Infrastructure and be mentored by branch manager Henare Clark, who's been in the industry for 29 years. I think a, a willingness and an, and an ability to learn is what we're looking for. Um, you, you want people that um, are, are going to be able to pick up concepts and, and I think enthusiasm helps that. Hello Jack, <laughs> welcome. Thanks. Just one of the first things I'd like to do is present you with uh, the Works jersey. This is the uniform that the guys wear and, and uh, funnily enough it's um, also what the referees wear. So uh, that's yours and cool, this year's to keep the summer for you as well. Cool, thank you. First up, Henare gives Jack a tour of the Ashbelt plant. Um, this is state of the art, yeah. purchased with a 10 year plan in mind. We've got some young guys up there operating the plant, um, you know, very keen, they love their job. It's, it's, uh, it's an opportunity for them to do something that, that's meaningful. Everything is operated here in the control room. The ash belt is made to order and loaded onto the delivery trucks. A lab is also on site. Blends of ash belt are tested and various combinations are trialled. Jack is beginning to learn there's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes than he realised. There's a huge degree of intellectual um, knowledge that's required to build our roads these days. We have to actually predict and model um, right into the future in terms of how long these roads and bridges are going to last. So a lot more work um, that's, that's required. Um, it's not just um, what you see on the side of the roads. It's time to visit a work site in style. This is the sort of car that we uh, drive around these days as a branch manager and it's certainly something that you, know, you can look forward to later on. Jump on the seat and uh, let's go for a drive. What we've got here, Jack, is um, what's known as the Pukeko Mega Centre. Uh, for someone that's starting or relatively new into the business, um, what we'd like to do is certainly get people familiar with the machinery. You'll get involved with things like stringing, um, checking levels. You may get into some setup work around uh, the curb and channels. It's off to another work site. Here, an extension to the Northwestern Motorway is being built. This is a concrete medium barrier that we're pouring today. Um, Normally this is done with precast, so you know you've got concrete blocks that you yep. come in and you have to dig a big hole in the ground and put them in. Yep. But this machine up here is a lot quicker, it just rolls along, does about 150 metres a day. Okay. These saw cuts that you see here, yep. what happens when the concrete with it, when it dries, um, yep. you can get cracking in it, you get uncontrolled cracking. So the guys will go through every six metres and put a, put a cut in it, and then that means that there'll be a crack in there, so yep. it still all looks nice for the, the travelling public. Hamish started with works infrastructure three years ago with limited knowledge. He's now a project manager. When I came to start with works, I didn't think that I would, you know, have what the qualifications and what it took. But they gave me a shot, and um, they've put me through some some training, um, graduate diplomas and stuff like that. So that's that's good. There's plenty of support there, um, and yeah, you just learn on the job. What what do you enjoy about your job? Um, Probably the sense of satisfaction when, when something's completed. Um, I mean, you look down, look down there. It's not, it's not 100% yet. We've still got some sealing to do, but um, yeah, you know, you can walk away and you've built a motorway. And there are so many opportunities in, in, in the civil engineering business, and not just in New Zealand, but throughout Australia, Singapore, the UK. You push down on that lever. You can pull all the steering column towards you until you feel comfortable with it. So this side here lifts and lowers this side of the blade. The other one there does the opposite. Yep. And then just ease your foot slowly off the clutch. Yep. You sure you haven't been on one of these before? Felt like I was on top of the world, all the way up here, controlling, actually making a road instead of driving on it. He's a natural talent on the grader. Let's see how he gets on with the digger. Yeah. So that's to lift it, yep. that's to bring it down, yep. that there's for crowning your bucket, and that's for unloading it. Yep. On this side here, so that way there, that's to exclude yep. to your right, that way there, exclude to your left. Yep. See if you can flatten it out. How? Just with your levers. <laughs> Work it out. <laughs> Yeah, 
you know, I think it's, it's got the potential. So. I think it's miles to the goal, isn't it? Yeah. This one was very, very hard. Yes, they make it look easy, but it's not. As well as on-the-job training, a certain amount of theory is required. Infratrain support and monitor the apprentices' progress, helping them to obtain national certificates in their chosen field. We'd like them to go through and become qualified. One, because it's good for them. It increases the earning capability, gives them a, um, hey, I've, I've passed and I've qualified and, and I, I, am a, I am a civil engineer. Um, and if, if they get that and there's a bit more uh, enthusiasm, uh, there's a big flow on effect. Once qualified, is there money to be made in infrastructure? Because of the shortage of civil engineering people, the money side of things is, is phenomenal at the moment. And it's, it's not just the New Zealand, it's, um, it's overseas as well. So, all in their hands. You know, if, if you want to earn big money, um, put on the miles now and, and uh, it'll happen. This is called a dipper. As you can see, I put it in the ground like that. This is measured to 42 mil, and if it's flush with that, that means it's perfect. But if it's not, they have to tweak it over there. Ah, it's healthy. Yeah. So does Jack have what it takes? Jack went uh, extremely well, you know, hopping on the machinery and giving it a go. Um, that's what we're looking for. You know, we're looking for people that want to give it a go, that are enthusiastic about it. Uh, brilliant guy, um, and, and certainly if he's available when he finishes school, um, then more than happy to take him on. All right, Jack, it's been nice having you here today. Yeah, you and too. Don't worry about the jersey, you keep that, because I know you're, uh, you're going to be back, and uh, this is your workbook as well. Cool, thanks. So we'll, we'll catch up with you. Thanks. Well, uh, better be off home now. Look, um, why don't we go for one more spin on the car? My experience for me has been um, really good. Like, I've learned it's not just the road, it's the, everything you add, like, like making a cake, and I guess putting all the different ingredients together just to make that one sort of section. It's been really awesome. Infratrain New Zealand Limited offer a wide range of nationally recognised qualifications, which require on-the-job training as well as off-the-job theory. This allows apprentices the opportunity to earn while they learn. As part of their training, licences will be gained to operate machinery. Support and guidance is provided by Infratrain New Zealand Limited throughout an apprentice's training. For further information, call 0800 486 626. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.